Here we go with the DJI FPV combo with the fly more kit and some extra props. That's how these all came in, ordered from DJI. So I know a lot have already opened that, so we're just gonna go ahead and open this guy first. This is the Fly More kit. Got your basic DJI booklets. Little gel pack. Nicely packed as always. Extra batteries. No charge. No charge on either of these. And the charging hub. So these do not appear to lock in at all on this. Let's see. Yeah. They just kind of sit there. So that does not sit flat at all. That rocks a lot. No cable in this either. So that is the Fly More kit. Yeah, that's pretty flimsy. That is not a solid design compared to uh, what we're kind of used to. Like the Inspire batteries are a little bit, the Inspire 2 batteries and the Ronin 2, those have a nice solid lock in. This is definitely a little flimsy, but that is what it is. All right. Extra props. I don't even need to open that, but for the sake of the video, boom, there you go. Extra props, pretty simple. All right, this big guy, nice and fresh. All right. Looks like it's a box wrap. Done. Got all your uh, contents, all your warnings. That's pretty much it on the bottom. Got some pet hair from the puppy. All right, there we go. The tab on the side for cutting. Another tab on the back. And we're gonna zoom. No, no more tab. Oh, yeah, one more. There we go. All right. Flip that up. There we go. Goggles. Got your little protective stickers in there. Covering the lenses. Definitely lighter than what I was expecting. That feels like it's not gonna be a nuisance on the face. And then the drone itself. 
battery. No charge in the battery as well. Unlock that. Press in on the sides. That comes out. This is super light. For sure. We'll stick her over the uh, protective cover of the gimbal. Locks, nine, locks in nicely. And plug that in. Got your A's, your B's for your props. Everything is aligned like they normally do it on these drones. DJI is pretty adamant about those. Got your little foamy protective covers. Only on the ones that were popping out. pieces out the remote yeah definitely light uh, feels nice in the hands definitely has a PlayStation vibe to it for sure uh, did notice from other reviews that these are extremely small compared to what you're used to on your Mavics yeah, that threads in. That is nice and tight though. Definitely feels a little bit more responsive than like the Mavic controllers. And definitely uh, from your Inspire 2 controllers, definitely feels a lot more responsive than that too. Definitely like the way that feels. Your fingers don't really feel like they get lost at all. No buttons on the bottom, so everything's thumbs and index fingers. Little charge on this guy. Looks like these are the props. Come with them, yep. This is a second set of props, which that's very interesting because nothing I saw online, it even says it on the box too. It says props times four. So they're actually giving you eight props in total and that is not listed anywhere online. This looks like the charger. Yep, it's a big guy. Classic DJI brick. Uh, this is definitely bigger than the Mavic chargers. Uh, two USB ports on the side, which is very nice. Another box. And this looks to be the battery for the glasses, the goggles. So there's your goggles battery. A little bit of charge on that guy. So no cable for either of those in that. All right. This is a very silicone-y feel cover to it. This feels cheap. This feels super cheap. Um, maybe that's why they included it because they know it's going to smack up if you uh, whack something. You could probably paint this. It feels, doesn't feel like there's any texture to it, but I'm sure people are going to be painting those right away. Uh, it doesn't feel cheap on the body. The OG one that's on it is definitely... 
feels a little bit sturdier, but that might just be because it's locked in there in place. Got some little Allens to pop it off. And then on the front as well. All right, let's get some cables. Oh, there's your Allen. So there's your Allen head for pretty much, it looks like everything on the top and the sides, the front, everything uh, on the motors. It is all this size, one Allen. That will definitely get lost. All right, head strap for the goggles. Manuals, usual manuals. All right. Antenna, goggle antennas. There we go. Goggle antennas. Four of those, they don't give me any extra. Pretty light as well. USB to USB-C. There's a male USB-C to female USB. All right. Then USB-C to DC in. So that is from, for the goggles into the battery, I believe, which does have a USB-C and that's it. That's only a USB-C battery. And then a USB-C to USB. And then finally a DJI cable that looks super similar to the Mavic chargers ones. I'd be interested to see if that even fits because uh, if the Mavic fits into that one, that would be nice. So there you go. Oh, one more. Oh, these, these gotta be the sticks. Yeah, these are, I'm not even opening that up because those are so small. Those are definitely going to get lost along with the Allen head. There you go. That is the unboxing of the FPV Flymore combo. Nope, here we go. FPV Flymore combo. Nope, nope, one more time. FPV Flymore kit. FPV fly more combo and then because it doesn't say anywhere online some extra props but like we found out you get a whole bunch of extra props that are definitely going to be needed for all these interesting collisions that may happen along with this guy I'm very this feels so cheap I can't get over how cheap this part feels like that Oh man, somebody's gonna have to come out with something. I know that covers a lot of GPS and a lot of other stuff that's going on in there, but if somebody came out with an upgrade to this, that would make me feel a little bit better about this whacking into something, especially on a flip. Yeah. I feel like I can just break this completely out by hand. This is definitely, uh, yeah, there it is.